Good afternoon guys! I'm here at the Bayfront area this afternoon and we are headed to Gastro Beats. Okay, Gastro Beats is located at Bayfront. So it's just besides MBS and it just started and it goes all the way until 23rd of June. So it's like in conjunction with both iLight and also the school holidays. So very good place to come check out lots of food, lots of fun and games. I've actually been to the last two years Gastro Beats. So we are gonna head in. So the good thing about today is that it was raining this morning. So it's like not so hot. So let's go check it out. See what food we're gonna have later. And see what activities there is inside. Let's go. So here we are at Gastro Beats. And Food Panda is one of the sponsors. So there's Pow Pow. And they gave us like Pow Pow fan. <laughs> can fan ourselves. Okay, I'm very tempted to buy the Pow Pow soft toy. Pow Pow! Super cute! Okay, I'm gonna buy a Pow Pow because it's super cute. And it's 32 but it's very, very cute. So when you first enter the um, Gastro Beach, right? Basically, you head into the carnival area. So we okay, first was the Pow Pow area, I bought a Pow Pow. And then this is like the carnival area. Where there's like lots of games, carnival games like bumper cars, uh, catcher machines and stuff like that. So lots of entertainment for everyone. Got ourselves some pretty beauty. This is the area to come if you have kids. Okay, actually, even if you are an adult, you can also play like the games. Lots of cute toys to be won. Yeah, but these rides are probably more for kids. Huh? After the carnival area, now we're standing right in front of the huge food area with many, many stalls. So there's like donuts, satay, there's also like jetty barbecue. And also loads and loads and loads of food. I'll show you guys what food is there and we'll see what food we're gonna have. Oh and by the way, there's also a lot of seating spaces like over here and over at the other side. Loads of space. So let's go chop our seats early since there's no crowd yet. Okay, but even though there's no sun today, it's a bit humid now because it was like rainy, right? Oh my god, they got like dessert corn dog. I think this is like one of the recommended stalls. And lots of seats just behind me, so grab your seat early. Lots of Instagrammable places for you to take photos, and lots of cute seats like the swing over there. There's also stalls selling goods, lah, so lots of things for you to do. So we're in the cook area, and there's like a games place that you can actually do. So they got this card, but you need to purchase a Coke and food combo before you can play. So there's a couple of games like what Recycle Me, Photo Booth, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Quite interesting. Let's see if we buy later. Having fun at the games booth here. Yeah? Wow! So Lee Hai! <laughs> you can throw the low one. Hot pot if you want like instant hot pot. So there's really really a lot of food. 
Alright, oh, thinking really thinking and sketching my brains what to get for dinner later. Too much food. But I believe the prices should not be that cheap either lah. Because gastro fee is always a bit atas. But anyway, we'll still have dinner here. Check out some of the stalls. So while uh, waiting for Chibeng to go check out what to get, I already found a seat. So there's a bit of breeze. Just gonna sit here and relax. Check out the view. Alright, so we're just waiting for Chibeng to come check out what to get. I already found a seat. So there's a bit of breeze. Just gonna sit here and relax for a bit while we have our food. Live band is also playing on and off. Oh, anyway, there's also like I mentioned, I like going on currently. So if you're around the area, you can like kill two birds with one stone. Um, every year they have this gastro beast together with I like lah. So I like will be all the decorations, all the artistic lighted displays all around the Bay Area. So also good to check out. Kill two birds with one stone. A few moments later. So this is what we have ordered for now. And let me show you guys what we have ordered. So this one is like the you know have you been to Korea right or Osaka? They have this famous viral cheese coin thingy. So they have two flavors, um, mozzarella and also Nutella. So I took the mozzarella of course. And we also have some dumplings. And this one is like um, okay, sausages with bread. So it's a bit like German. And this one is what I picked. Wait, this is. From Gyushi, G Y U S H I Gyushi, and I got the Mentaiko uh, Wagyu Beef Bowl. So basically, um, they have like different sauces, like the original no sauce. They got spicy Mentaiko, Mentaiko, and also like truffle. And they actually have an outlet over at OUE downtown. So I think I walked past before, like during lunch time. Next time I go try the truffle one. And this one, they said the beef is very tender and like Lauren also like to eat. So I regret just not having my camera when I was buying. I can actually video them flame grilling it lah. Oh well, okay. So in the meantime, right? I'm going to try. What should I try first? Dumpling. Dumpling. Okay, try dumpling first. A lot of food. So, wow. Actually, there's really a lot of stalls. So I think okay. Um, most of the stalls all accept like back pay and stuff, so you can just pay very easily. Wow, this dumpling. What's what dumpling is this? No, what you? It's like ang mo dumpling. Ang mo dumpling. Yeah, but it's like stuck to the. I think it's a bit stuck. Use Maybe wait too long already. So, okay, what sauce is this? Mayo. Yeah. Mayo. No, I think it's like sour cream. Sour cream. Oh yeah, sour cream. Hey, or is this the dumpling that is a man you try? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like the one. Okay, let's see what's inside. It's chicken. Hmm, chicken. Hmm, not bad. Okay, so even though the dumpling has been waiting waiting for like a while, right? It's not too dry and hard yet. I think the skin is still pretty moist, and this sauce is a bit like a sour cream sauce, so it goes very well. Hmm. Mukbang time. So what other flavors do they have? Uh, chicken and beef only. Chicken and beef. Then got other thing. Hmm, the dumpling is good. Oh, I have a crepe. Oh yeah, I suspect this is the one that's the main thing. Oh yeah, 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 the crepe. No, so this unlimited. Ukraine, yeah, 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 it's a crepe buffet. Yeah, 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 I'm going to try the sausages. So the sausages are the same, right? Yeah, they're like the same. So if you see, right, it's like sausages with mustard and bread. We just take a bite of the sausage first. I love sausages. Actually, I wanted curry words, but Chibeng said try before I use it. Mmm, nice. But I think the dumpling is very good. Okay, I'm going to let Chibeng try before later. We'll try the coin and the wagyu beef bowl. So you see the dumpling, right? It's a very cute shape. Yeah, and the skin is still not hard. You must eat the sauce. It's better with the sauce. The sour cream is nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's very very good. Next time I try the beef one. So it's a Ukraine like a Ukraine dumpling. And look at this. I cannot wait to try this because the mentaiko sauce and a lot of beef. Okay, so this was fifteen dollars. Fourteen dollars for the original. And One dollar for additional sauce. Okay, I'm gonna try like the beef bowl. This is so tempting. I love the mentaiko sauce. Okay, I'm gonna taste the mentaiko. Mmm, nice. Okay, first I'm going. It comes with an onsen egg. But I'm just gonna try the beef first, like the beef by itself. See how tender is the beef. It looks really good. Okay, this wagyu is very very tender. Very very tender. It melts in your mouth just like butter. Comes with rice, of course. Hmm, the sauce is good and the beef is like really good. Hmm, just look at how yummy the beef is with the mentaiko sauce. 
for this good. Okay, I'm definitely going to try the outlet and try the truffle sauce the next one. So the lady was actually promoting it and she was saying most people actually try the mentaiko or the truffle sauce. So definitely go and try the truffle. And they got like salmon and other stuff as well, so not just beef. Let Chi Beng try the Wagyu beef bowl. Can you try the beef first with the mentaiko sauce? See how tender it is. I think it's really really good. The really with the mentaiko sauce is also very generous. Very tender, right? Superbly tender. I think it's one of the best Wagyu. Can, yeah, yeah, you can taste the flame grill. So that is their, their specialty. Okay, so I'm gonna eat like the how do I eat the bread? Need to like bite. <laughs> you know, like the sausages actually yeah, come with a bun. Part, yeah. yeah, so like, probably you're supposed to stuff it in. Okay, but I'm just gonna bite. <laughs> you know, like the sausage, right? Sausage, sausage roll. Okay, the live band is stuffing in. Hmm. Goes very well with the mustard. It's like a winner roll. So they're already nicely sliced bread. Bread is a bit like a baguette bread. A bit chewy. And I think it's like not enough sausage for the bread. Because like the bread is so big. It's like just three mini little sausages. Mm -hmm. The sausage is a good part. While I'm finishing up my share of the beef bowl, okay, you know, I realized that this year's uh, Pastro Beats, right, is like kind of pet friendly theme. So there's a lot of people who brought their pet dogs along. Even for the retail section, there's a lot of stalls selling like doggy stuff. Okay, so I guess it's more a dog theme kind of uh, event. There's no cats, la, so uh, nobody brought any cats, and also there's also not like much cat stuff. So if you have a pet dog, you can actually bring them down. I'm sure they will enjoy it because there's a lot of white outdoor space <laughs> sorry excuse me and there's also um, a lot of uh, seats and yeah, the dogs can also walk around yeah so very good and now it's like 6 20 pm the seats are filling up but there's still a lot of seats available so yeah i guess probably by maybe like 7 pm then maybe more of the seats will be filled up yeah. so good to come earlier you can have your pick of seats so in the meantime i'm gonna finish up my yummy wok new beef then later i'm gonna try the Mozzarella cheese coin, but I think the probably cold really, so maybe the cheese pool maybe not so much really. Let's see. Mm. This is the last item on our that we ordered. But I think no more cheese pool really. Let's see. Ah. Cold and cool. Really. <laughs> Where is the cheese? Inside. Okay, I think you need to eat this hot because now it's cold, so it's a bit not crispy anymore. No more cheese pool. I think the mozzarella has like thing here already. So, hmm. Okay. So lesson learned. If you order this coin, make sure you eat it while it's hot. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be disappointed like me. No cheese pool for the video. Darn. Oh well. Okay, but still nice. It tastes like those, basically like those pancake fish. You know, like the tayaki. So, this is I think. Yeah, the cheese is like already integrated into the the pancake already. Oh well, okay, still worth a try. Okay, so we went to collect our Coke goodies after buying the Coke combo and got stickers and limited edition Coke drink. Pretty cute, like what K wave, nice color. So head down to Coke here and try your luck. You can win like lucky draw from the Gachapon. <laughs> And the live band is also like starting their play so they are on and off playing so maybe they were just more like getting ready so all in all i think gastro beats is pretty fun once a year event lots of food good for friends to come chill you know like just especially during the school holidays now so very good and you can also bring your pets like i said because it's a pet friendly place and you know like i think back in 2022 they actually had like um cover you have to buy ticket to enter gastro beats so last year and this year i think there's okay this year there's definitely no cover charge anymore so you can just come in as and when you like just come and support the stores and eat the food have fun with your friends play them some carnival games no limit 
So hope you guys enjoy following me around this evening and gastro beats. The food was pretty good, so I'll probably I may come back to try out some of the other stores because there's too many stores and we cannot like eat all in one day. So no no harm coming back again. Maybe I'll bring my family or my parents or Ryan to come try as well. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course at next year's gastro beats. But I, I like I said, I probably will be back again. So let's see if I do come back. Bye.